It's Toilet, Malaysia edition. Welcome back to all my loyal viewers and a special hello to perhaps my youngest viewer, Emery in Milwaukee, who is enjoying watching what she calls Ken's Potty Show. Ken's Potty Show. So what's it gonna be, Malaysia? Squat toilets or Western style toilets? Well, we've seen both as we travel around. It's mostly Western style toilets where we've stayed and you know, touristy places like museums. There are squat toilets around, like on New Year's Eve, uh, we were at a kind of a sketchy restaurant and I asked to use the toilet. They led me down a trash strewn alley to a squat toilet and that was a pretty rough one. Standard configuration seems to be a toilet with a sprayer next to it. Now what exactly is the sprayer for? Well, judging from the signs we've seen, there seems to be some confusion over how to use these toilets. There's this one. Do not squat on the sit-down toilet. No, really, don't leave your footprints on the toilet seat. You in the high heel shoes, don't squat on the sit-down toilet. And you, oh, wow, oh, okay, that graphic is fairly graphic. Uh, apparently, they even need signs for the squat toilets so you don't face the wrong way. Oh, please flush? Really? We need a sign for that? And clean up after yourself? We need a sign for that? Oh, that's why there's a sprayer in there, because you might have to clean up a mess. Also, there's oftentimes not toilet paper in the bathroom, so I understand that this, you could use the hose to clean up yourself, but how would that work? How would you get out of there without your pants getting all wet? One thing we found here was uh, the combination shower and bathroom, where there's a shower nozzle in the bathroom. I thought that was just on dive boats in Australia, up in the Great Barrier Reef, but no, they got it here too. All right, let's run down the checklist. No, there's not always toilet paper. Yes, there are plenty of public bathrooms. Some of them charge you to go in. Um, but if they're charging 20 sen Malaysian, well, that's uh, 6 cents US. You might pay 30 sen Malaysian to uh, actually have toilet paper as well, and that's an extra 3 cents. So, you know, I think we can afford that. In one mall, I spotted this premier paid toilet for 64 cents US. That's highway robbery. I took my business elsewhere. One of the first things I did upon arriving in Malaysia was check into a Malaysian hospital. I wouldn't recommend adding it to your travel plans. And you'd think the bathroom in the hospital would be the cleanest one that you would see. Ah, uh, but no. Here's the toilet that didn't really function all the time. And there's the open window. I mean, a bunch of people are at this hospital for mosquito-borne illnesses. Should there really be an open window that really can't be closed? And then, you know, you, you look up in the corner and it's just dirty, moldy, yuck. And the worst part was they do the combo bathroom shower thing. So there's a shower head in there. And so the floor was always soaking wet. And I would see patients go in there, these old guys hunched over, you know, hobbling in there. And I'd just be thinking, don't slip and fall, don't slip and fall. So it's actually a health risk to go to the hospital bathroom. That can't be good. Okay, so we've had a toilet first. We're on the train in Malaysia, and there is a toilet, which is actually fairly clean. However, it's our first toilet where the waste goes under the track. It has toilet paper, it has um, paper towels. There's a cleaner, you can clean the bowl. And I'm afraid you'll need that sprayer because here's the evidence. There is a squat toilet on the train right next door if you really want to work those quads. So please, everyone, when you come to Malaysia, get yourself pointed the right direction, don't climb on things unnecessarily, and don't slip and fall and kill yourself. Let other users after you smile because you had used the toilet with cleanliness in mind. I'm sure you'll agree, quality toilet, quality life.